Hey, Adrian here from PyImageSearch.com. I just want to tell you about my latest project, PyImageSearch Gurus. You see, learning computer vision in OpenCV used to be hard, but not anymore. In order to help developers, researchers, and students just like yourself become awesome at solving real-world computer vision problems, I've created PyImage Search Gurus, a course and community dedicated to taking you from computer vision beginner to expert, guaranteed. You see, PyImage Search Gurus is the most comprehensive computer vision education you can find online today. Inside the course, you'll find 13 modules broken out into 168 lessons with over 2,161 pages of content. Honestly, I wasn't joking when I said this is the most comprehensive computer vision education you can find today. But you're probably wondering, what types of lessons are covered inside the course? Let me show you. Are you interested in learning how to recognize and identify license plates and images? No problem, I've got you covered. The PyMate Search Gurus course includes 15 lessons dedicated to building custom automatic license plate recognition systems. Automatic license plate recognition consists of three primary steps. First, finding the license plates in an image. Second, segmenting each of the individual characters of the license plate. And finally, identifying and recognizing each of the characters. Inside the automatic license plate recognition module, you'll learn how to solve each of these steps and then combine them to create a full license plate identification system. Curious about deep learning? I'm here to help. I've created an entire module consisting of 21 lessons dedicated to neural networks, deep belief networks, and convolutional neural networks, allowing you to get up to speed quickly and easily. Inside this course, you'll learn the basics of neural networks and deep learning, including activation functions, convolutional layers, pooling layers, and common network architectures. From there, you'll apply popular deep learning libraries such as Cafe and Keras to train your own custom networks. You'll not only understand deep learning, but also be able to apply it to your own data sets as well. Let me ask you, have you been on Facebook recently? If so, you may have noticed that Facebook can not only automatically detect faces and images, but also recognize them as well. Face recognition tends to be an easy task for humans. We are able to intuitively pick out distinguishing attributes on a person's face. But the same is not true for computers. We need to develop specialized techniques that can quantify facial characteristics. Once you join the Pyramid Search Gurus course, I'll show you how to build face recognition systems of your own using both images and video streams. You'll also learn how to develop a full-fledged home security system that you can use to monitor your house for intruders. If an intruder is detected, a notification is automatically sent to your smartphone. Training your own custom object detectors could not be easier using my six-step framework consisting of the Histogram of Oriented Gradients Image Descriptor, or HOG for short, and a Linear SVM Classifier. To start, you need to extract HOG features from your positive training set. This set contains objects you want to detect in images, in this case, cars. Next, you'll need to extract HOG features from your negative training set. The negative training set consists of images that do not contain objects you're interested in. Given your positive and negative data, you can train your own Linear SVM Detector. However, you're not done yet. Your current detector will likely have a high false positive classification rate and detect objects where there really aren't any. To remedy this, you can apply hard negative mining. Finally, retrain your linear SVM on the positive samples, negative samples, and hard negative samples. At this point, you're done. You can now apply your object detector to your data set. For a detailed review of the HOG and Linear SVM framework, along with the source code implementation, be sure to join the PyMage Search Gurus course. Content-based image retrieval, or more simply, image search engines, are the reason why I started the PyMage Search blog. Inside these 20 lessons, you'll discover my special techniques for building image search engines and making collections of images visually searchable. Plus, you'll gain access to my previously unreleased personal libraries that I spent years crafting and perfecting. These are the libraries I use daily to scale my own image search engines to millions of images. Using these resources, you'll be able to build image search engines of your own in no time. 
Have you ever seen the movie Minority Report? It features an amazing, although fictional, hand gesture recognition system. I can't promise you that we can build that, but what I can promise you is that I can teach you the basics of how hand gesture recognition works. We'll start with the basics of segmentation and how to segment the hand region from a video stream. Then we'll apply gesture recognition algorithms that can detect the number of fingers you're holding up. From there, I'm confident that you'll be able to apply hand gesture recognition to your own applications. Hadoop and MapReduce are normally applied to processing text and analytical data. But did you know that Hadoop can be used to process images as well? It's not as challenging as you might think. The trick is learning how to prepare your image dataset correctly. From there, we'll utilize MapReduce to quickly process large image datasets in bulk using my personal Hadoop and MapReduce project structure template. This is the exact same template I use when working on my own Hadoop projects. No joke, back in 2012, Google built an image classification system using 16,000 processors and months of computing time to recognize cats in YouTube videos. I'll show you the same tricks Google used to build their cat recognizer, but in a fraction of the time and CPU power. You'll be developing your own image classification systems well before you finish the PyMage Search Gurus course. I can promise you that. Besides the modules I've mentioned earlier, I also cover another 168 lessons inside the Pi Image Search Gurus course. These lessons cover computer vision case studies like tracking multiple objects in video streams and recognizing handwriting. I also have 26 lessons reviewing the basics of computer vision and image processing, allowing you to get started quickly without being bogged down in theory. In fact, some of your very first projects inside the course will include Tetris block identification, recognizing tic-tac-toe pieces, and learning how to segment license plate characters from images. Like I said, this is a super practical and hands-on computer vision course. Whether you're just getting started in the field or you're a seasoned veteran, this course is for you. By using my pre-configured Ubuntu VirtualBox virtual machine, learning computer vision couldn't be easier. Just download the virtual machine and start learning the instant you join the Pi Image Search Gurus course. Your downloadable Ubuntu VirtualBox virtual machine comes pre-configured and pre-installed with all the necessary computer vision, image processing, and machine learning libraries you'll need to be successful inside the Pi Image Search Gurus course. And if you want to set up your own native development environment, I provided detailed installation instructions for both OS X and Linux. Each week, I receive a ton of email, and to be totally honest with you, it's hard to keep up with them all. If you need access to me to help solve a computer vision problem or get advice in what direction to go, the PyMage Search Gurus forums are my new home. I'll be checking the forums and replying to topics and questions each and every day. Simply put, you're much more likely to catch me in the PyMage Search Gurus community than you will in my inbox. Upon successfully completing the Pi Image Search Gurus course, you will receive a certificate of completion that you can include in your resume. This same certificate can also be embedded on your LinkedIn page to share with your network. Once embedded, this certificate will link back to the Pi Image Search Gurus site, verifying your graduation from the course. Here's the deal. Pi Image Search Gurus is the course I wish I had when I first started studying computer vision over six years ago. If you're interested in learning computer vision and want to equip yourself with the knowledge to solve advanced computer vision problems, then rest assured, I designed this course for you, but now it's your turn to make a decision. Are you ready to take that next step in your journey to computer vision mastery? I believe you are. I know you can do it, and I'll be there to help you out every step of the way. I'll see you inside the course.